Creation is true. Evolution is a lie straight from the pit of hell. Man, you can say whatever you want, but you're over here talking about intercourse in front of kids, and I'm not even I'm a sorry. parent. I'm sorry. There's, and I think there's that homosexuals here in front of kids. I, I would really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's homosexuals here in front of kids. They should not be here. That's a, that's a sexual. You know what? I'm talking about natural. Don't touch me, ma'am. Don't assault me, ma'am. You need to back up, ma'am. Give me my space. Back up. The God of the Bible says you're on your way to hell. The God, you're not a queer Christian, ma'am. There's no such thing. That that's like saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. No, you don't look like a unicorn. But what you do look like is like you need some help. You need the Word of God to make you repent to become a child of God, a real child of God. So we know that if you claim to be something that is not in this Word of God and claim to be a Christian, if you claim to be a Christian yet reject the Word of God, it says, if Jesus, you know what Jesus said, ma'am? Let me give you a little quote. Jesus said, if you love me, don't point that at me ma'am put the umbrella down put the umbrella down ma'am jesus said if you love me obey my commands that's what jesus said you're not obeying his commands by engaging in sexual perversion that's what you are doing ma'am again you need to repent you need to repent before a holy god you need to understand that that holy god is jesus and he will judge all these false teachers all these false churches that accept perversion god will judge them there is a special place in hell for those who pervert the word of God. The fact of the matter is, there is one truth, one way, one life, and that's Jesus Christ. And you either follow his word or you do not. If you do not, then your blessed assurance is gone. The only thing you've got is eternal hell to look forward to. I'm glad you like it. Yay. Yay. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. You know what? It's okay to call people fools. Because when you reject the knowledge of God, that is the definition of what you are. You are a fool for rejecting the knowledge of God. Repent, sir. Repent. You're on your way to hell. You need to repent. God loves you enough to cast you into hell. And he will do that, sir, for rejecting his son. You cannot argue with, 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 a, with, a, with a mind like that. A mind like that, it seems to me, is, well, a disgrace to the human species.